girls that are on the team. Um, I know it's the most competitive team in the world, and I know it could have gone either way of me being on the team, me not being on the team. So, um, you know, I'm excited for them. I'm going to be rooting them on to, to win gold. Um, I've, I was a kid that grew up uh, watching the Olympics. So, um, yeah, it'll be it'll be fun to watch them. Honestly, no disappointment. Like, I think it just gives you something, something to work for. Um, you know, that's a dream. You know, hopefully one day I can be there. And uh, I think it's just a little more motivation. Uh, you, you remember that. And, um, you know, hopefully in four years, when four years comes back around, you know, I can be there. I've covered the Olympics since 1984, and Jamel's been to one or two, but we know the power and the platform of the Olympic Games is unlike anything else in the world. Why did the NHL literally shut down its season to, to have all of its pros at the Winter Olympics? Why is the WNBA sh completely shuttering so that its 12 players can go and play in the Olympics? It's because of the forum and the opportunity to grow the game. The dream team, the men's dream team, 1992 Barcelona, changed the face of basketball around the world. Caitlin Clark is the one person who could have done that, put USA and number 22 uh, on an Olympic basketball court, and the eyeballs would have been as extraordinary, The re and the eyeballs would have been as extraordinary, the record-setting TV ratings, just like they've been in it, both in college and now pro. She is a magnet for all the headlines, all the attention, and would have then so many of her teammates would have gotten the attention that they deserve. They're usually ignored at the Olympics. I've covered it. It's tumbleweeds in the press tribune. You would have had everyone coming to watch those other players and give them their due as well. And all of this is an mm -hmm. opportunity that's completely missed by this decision.